Welcome back, this is Sharni and you are watching Swapnanga Let's Stream Together. Today, let's learn about maps. Let's start off by understanding what a map is. A map is a representation of an area of land or sea which shows physical features, cities, roads and etc. Maps are shown in a bird's eye view. It has a language of its own. It is made up of symbols. The symbols on a map represent places or objects on the ground. To understand what each symbol means, we must look in the map key. All the symbols are in the map keys. It will explain what each symbol means. When we want to know the actual distance on land, we use map scales. On maps, they are scales. The scales help us to work out the actual distance on land. Maps can also have grids on them. The grids make it easier for us to find places rather than for searching through to the entire map. Maps have many uses. It can be used to show political boundaries, water bodies, the position of cities, and etc. Maps can also act as a guide to places that we have never visited before. According to the ICSN, the International Committee on Surveying and Mapping, there are five different types of maps. The general reference map, the topographical map, the thematic map, the navigation chart, and the cadastral maps and plans. General reference map shows physical, natural, and man-made features in an area. This type of map summarizes the landscape. Topographical maps are detailed elevations and geographic positions for both man-made and natural features. This type of map helps us to show the shape of the land. For example, like the mountains, the valleys, and etc. Thematic maps are maps that are designed to focus on the spatial variability of the specific distribution, such as a population density or weather. Navigational charts are mainly used to navigate our way through the ocean or through the air. This is typically referred to as charts rather than maps. The charts include information that is vital to avoid any accidents, such as features in the water like submerging rocks, along with any specific navigational aid. Cadastral maps and plans make us the individual property, offering details like boundary information when houses or land are surveyed and can be joined together to form much larger cadastral maps. I'm dealing with local maps and street maps. Most local maps and street maps only show a few kilometers of land. Most local maps show part of a land where people live. Street maps show and name all the streets, roads and freeways in the settlement. We can find a collection of street maps in a book called a street atlas. Both these maps could show physical features or landmarks. I hope you enjoyed learning with me about map skills. Thank you for watching my video. If you enjoyed this video then please like, share and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Till then signing off. Bye bye.